Toe chute is out. Um, it's held on, anchored to the aircraft right now. In a moment, the crew will release and it will pull out our two extraction chutes. And there are our two extraction chutes about to pull out the pallet. There's the pallet with separation on the PTV right there. Now we have static line deployed two programmers. Now those two programmers will stabilize the vehicle and get us to the right altitude, attitude, and velocity for us to begin the test. The test will begin with severing those programmers for that 12 second free fall. Now the vehicle is unstable at these speeds. So we have software on board that will monitor the rates and the attitudes of the vehicle to make sure that we don't tumble forward. We don't want to tumble the vehicle. Um, that would be bad for our um, drogues to be deployed at apex forward. So our software will monitor the, oh, there's our free fall. So if you want, you can count to 12. Um, looks pretty stable. That's looking great. You will soon see the two drogues or excuse me, three forward bay covers, there they go. They lift off the cover, the cover separated, two border deployed drogues. You can see lots of debris in the air. Those are the lids, the bags, uh, other equipment. So now we're riding these two drogues. They are reefed. That means that we have a line wrapped around the skirt of the parachute, constricting the diameter of the chutes to modulate our drag area, to reduce our loads, and to kind of help with an orderly inflation. So now we're going to ride these drogues down, drogues down to as low as we possibly can. The actual Orion vehicle with our astronauts in it will descend to the ocean, which is at zero feet mean sea level. Here at Yuma, we're at about 1,500 feet mean sea level. There's the... Uh, Three pilots, three mains. Now these will inflate through reefing stages similar to the drogues. It's more pronounced on these mains. So you can see a light bulb shape there in the three mains. This is looking really good so far. Now we're into the second stage. They're a little bigger. And if you listen closely, you can hear those mains inflating. And there we go to the full open. Beautiful shot right there. Three mains spread out. You can hear the crowd in the back cheering. We're not quite done yet. There's still a lot of stuff in the air. Um, eventually, we'll see the cover come racing by and impact the desert floor. But here you can see the three mains um, bouncing in and out. That's completely expected. Uh, you can see there's holes in the sides of the parachutes. We put those there. Uh, they're supposed to be there. We call that geometric porosity. Um, that does reduce the drag of the parachutes, but it does increase the stability. So the increased stability um, makes those flyouts smaller than they normally would be, which means that on average, our drag is higher. So one of these three main parachutes was actually what we call environmentally tested. So we put one of these parachutes through the entire sequence that a flight parachute would see. This includes what we call creep testing, thermal cycling between high and low temperatures, vibration testing, and rapid depress depressurization testing. We did all that throughout the this calendar year and then integrated it directly onto this vehicle to validate the, the design to ensure that it can go through those environments without having any issues. So we've seen the 11 Orion parachutes and there's also the handful of test support parachutes. There is one parachute descending the pallet to the ground. Now this is a special parachute. It is very similar to our Orion mains, but the lower sails in mains, but the lower sails, I'm not sure if the camera's on it, but it's got um, a lighter weight broadcloth. Oh, and there we go. We've got touchdown. So Orion looks like the uh, test vehicle is upright. So that's great. That makes recovery easy. A lot of times it will flip over. It's not designed to land here in the desert. So when it hits the, the hard ground versus the water, uh, it kind of rolls around a little bit. But that's not a big deal. You can see those orange chutes deflating and falling to the ground. The ground winds are very important during this testing in terms of safety for the personnel that go out to recover the chutes. You see one of those main parachutes is still a little bit inflated, but that will, will droop down um, as the mouth of it kind of closes up. So the safety of the crew and safety of the personnel uh, is very important in the recovery. 
if those parachutes are inflated, they generate tens of thousands of pounds of force. And that could be very dangerous to anybody going out to recover them. All right, and uh, so what's next? So next is the recovery process. So um, this was the hard part. Um, next is also the hard part, I guess. So we'll drive out there and we'll go recover each of these parachutes, all the other equipment, bag them up and